Welcome to this video tutorial on Analyzer's Reverse Engineering Tool. Today we're going to focus on reverse engineering the temperature field of a Toshiba AC signal. As you can see we have quite a lot of signals captured. In fact we have 55 of the Toshiba AC signals recorded. You can also see that the lengths of each signal uh, vary quite substantially in this protocol from 144 bits to 160 bits um, to 112 bits. So there are three, um, three uh, different length signals in this protocol. Now before we jump in I just want to point out something first over here on the right we can see that the carrier frequency for these signals are 38 kilohertz the um, the button column here this is a very interesting thing when you're reverse engineering it is a good idea to enter as we have here the temperature fields for each signal in a in ascending order if possible they're not all in ascending order here but it's almost impossible to reverse engineer signals when you don't know what you were trying to reverse and the other important point is to change only one feature at a time so uh, having um, changing temperature one degree at a time for example is a very good good approach um, changing fan speed one one option at a time then it allows you to see those changes in the in the actual protocol so why not let's jump in here and go over to the reverse engineering tool okay so now here we have a different presentation of all the signals and as you can see when I was mentioning about changing one thing at a time here lots of things were changing in these signals so it's really hard these are better because only one thing is changing from what I can see one or two but because over here we don't have a description of the button that was pressed it's sort of useless to us in some way but if we go down to the other signals where we do have the temperatures uh, we, we can we can get a a better understanding of what's happening so first of all let's just compare it here to the second part of the signal over here and as you can see up above the signal is repeated twice and it, it seems to be identical and that's validated here as well so we've 144 bits um, here and here now from a previous video tutorial we, we also uh, made a calculation on the same protocol and in that protocol we, we realized that the CRC is the last byte in each of in in the last byte of the signal um, and here you can see in each part of the signal it's the last byte because this is changing every time and that's a good indicator that the, for the for the um, uh, see the checksum field here the same column didn't change but as you can see here they're different length signals so that would explain why that is so we have to look out that they are the same length signal each time we're, we're checking for that. So coming back down here, um, one other thing I'll just point out is that if we hover the mouse over any hex value, we can see it, we get a short pop-up of the binary just to make things easier for us. Uh, it helps a bit when, when trying to figure out this reverse engineering. Okay, so we have, let's start here at 17 because obviously I saw this before. And here we, we're seeing here that from at a temperature of 17 degrees going to 18, we're seeing that this number changes to, to zero, changes to a one, then going to 19, it changes to a two, going to 20, a three, and 21 is a four. This is quite a common feature in temperature fields. They will, they will have the base uh, temperature uh, in this case in degrees centigrade at 16 degrees centigrade and will increment that field from zero so what you do is you take each, take this value and add it to 
the base in this case is 17 sometimes it can be 15 or 16 so it, it works out quite well and if we go to 25 it's 8 17 plus 8 is 25 so that works out but what's interesting about this field is is that it's only in the um, only in the top four bits of the byte so that's the high nibble as it's called the, the, the top four bits of this byte now um, if we go up here this is a signal that doesn't have a temperature but you can see it goes to D and here it's C and B so you can see that it goes up uh, um, D is 13 so that would be 30 degrees centigrade if you add it, add it to um, 17 okay so that's essentially uh, what's required if you have other fields that you want to focus in on you just make sure that you change one at a t one feature at a time and only one feature and um, then and record in the in the history over here the uh, the button let me just pull that down in the button field you know you can you can do that as you're recording the signal um, let's say fan on for example that would be one way of doing it um, let me go back get the thing. now just one other quick thing here you notice that what was recorded here we have 25 degrees on and 25 degrees off and what we can see is uh, the change in that is this 7 goes to a 1 so on has 1 here and off has 7 here and similarly down here off has 7 so we can be quite confident that these bits here um, are is the field for uh, on and off with a, with a 1 being um, the on signal and the off being the 7 and because it's 7 it's a minimum of 3 bits so we, we have a reasonable confidence that zero zero one is on and zero one and one 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 binary is off and essentially the reverse engineering process then continues and you just go after each field that you want uh, record some signals go through this process again and you'll quickly identify uh, which bits relate to which field now before we finish off here let's just go through some of the things on the top the format of this signal actually is a uh, most significant bit so essentially the bit order that you're seeing here relates to the bit order that we see coming across here and as you can see over here it's four ones which relate to the f which is on every signal um, now when we go let me just go back down to the bottom here with the temperature field this worked out quite well and sometimes it's not as obvious as this because the bits may span different bytes um, but in this case it's pretty straightforward that we can see the temperature increasing uh, with the with, with with the bit fields here the high the high nibble um, now sometimes and it's more common with uh, air conditioning uh, signals that the bit orders are in LS bit orders of each byte are in LSB format which we refer to as LSB8 um, and the in this case it, they are MSB so it, it just the defaults work fine but just bear in mind that you may need to change the bit order to see the correct pattern so it's worthwhile doing that a few times to make sure you get the correct pattern um, so over here on the top right this will just reload for example if you had if you had um, recorded an additional signal this will reload all of the values in from the history in the background here and the last one is um, if by clicking this uh, button you copy all of the contents in here to um, to your clipboard which you can then paste into an excel spreadsheet or whatever other application you prefer to do if you need to do you may want to move it into uh, a program or other to do further analysis um, so that can be quite handy 
Um, so reasonably, this is HTML, so it's reasonably structured to, to be analyzed elsewhere. Um, so I think that about wraps up the tutorial for today. And hopefully you will have an easier time trying to reverse air conditioner uh, signals in future. Um, if you are interested in Analyzer, you can always download a demo copy from the website, which is prominent when you go to our website down here. Um, the demonstration version is a limited, restricted functionality version which was with, with enough functionality to give you uh, an idea of uh, whether you would like to use the tool or not. Alternatively, you could just go ahead and get your own copy via the website as well. Um, so thank you for listening and uh, stay tuned for some more video more tutorials coming up in the near future. Thank you.